what was that one? All right, now that one there was for a high series, 674. And the team came in second that year. <laughs> so, uh, how's Shay doing out at the ranch? We're working with him. So what's the problem? I just wanted to talk to you and your wife. Well, you want us to lay out on the couch, or? <laughs> if you want. You bag that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I got that up near... Hey, right. uh, about a minute sporting this store. Hello, Dr. Terry. Uh, Sorry I'm late. Yeah, all right. You still hunt? <clears throat> sure. What do you hunt? I shot a squirrel once, but I think that was... Look, I, I don't know what you're driving at, Dr. Terry, but I would just like you to know that Karen and me are just as upset as everybody else about what she did to those animals. i got to get this stuff in the fridge. Be right back. So is Shay behaving himself out there? Way too, easy, too much way. weight. Yeah? All right. All right. No, 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 come on. Now you got it. How's it going? Just push. You gotta push. You know, Emily, Shay and Ben fell asleep during Vic's meditation. I just feel like I gotta keep an eye on him even during free time. Yeah. Thought I'd go with his parents. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. In what way? I was just about to lift it up. Man. I don't want you anywhere near the waist. I was just about Get to lift it up. Get out. Just about to lift it up. I'm assistant to one of the creative directors. He's like really smart. He has an incredible imagination. That's great. I'm so happy for you. So how's it feel to be back in the apartment? Well, I'm staying out because as soon as I get enough money, I'm out of there. I gotta go. Um, are you gonna be in town sometime soon? Uh, yeah, next week. I think I'm gonna be there Tuesday. Wanna have lunch? Yes, yeah, that'd be great. I'll call you. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Sorry about that. No, don't worry so much. Listen, I've got an offer for you. You're familiar with the Taub and Beer commercial we're about to shoot? Yeah. Well, one of the girls just dropped out sick. And so far, the ad agency hasn't sent anybody even close to fitting the bill. And I was thinking that you would be perfect for it. Me? In a commercial? Just a couple of days of work. Money's really good. And you know what? You might just end up having a little fun. Think about it. Just thought you might be interested. He'd come home drunk and just start hitting her. I mean, every night. It was always for stupid reasons, too, like dinner wasn't ready or there wasn't enough beer in the fridge or whatever. To start wailing on her. So finally, I just I'd forget this. Took off. Yeah. Thanks, Patty. Okay, Shay, how about you? What? Uh, we're talking about parents. Yeah, what about them? How do you get along with yours? Hmm? They're okay. How do they get along with each other? Hmm. Your dad ever push your mom around? Nope. Ever push you around? <laughs> no. Does he ever get angry? Sure, uh, lots of times. I mean, he's told me stories about when he was my age, and man, the guy, the guy was crazy. <laughs> totally. What's the maddest you've ever seen your dad get? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, there was this one time. We're in the car, right? And we stopped this light, and then BAM! This guy, he runs into us. And my, my daddy, he freaks out. What'd he do? Uh, he, he gets out of the car, right? Yeah, but he got out of the car, and he started screaming at this guy. And the other guy, he's screaming at him. It was just, it was wild, man. And what happened? Well, uh, all these people, they, they just come in, and they're watching. And uh, I thought he was going to freak out on the guy. And did he? No. But that dude, I mean, he was asking for it. He's sticking his finger in my dad's face, and, I mean, I thought, I thought he was just going to nail the guy, man. Totally. And then what happened? Well, they just, they were just screaming at each other and going crazy. And they didn't fight? No. But, uh, my dad, he could have killed the guy. But he didn't? No. There are, there are all these people around. He's not going to fight the guy right there. <sighs> Would you? No way. Mm. 
Hi. Very nice. Hey, Shay, what'd they tell you? At least two feet on the side, huh? Yeah, yeah. Keeps the draft away, lets the horse pull in more hay. I heard you, all right. Just back off me, man. Oh, sure, no problem. Just do it the way they ask, I'll back off the mile. Okay, here you go. Get out! Dad's always telling you. Hey, wait a minute. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I'm just trying to find out. No, 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 because you call us all the way out here. Say it's some kind of a big emergency. It is an emergency. Your son has come very close to seriously injuring some other people, some other kids, and my staff. The fact is, I don't know how much longer I can keep him here. And if we don't get together and try and understand why he is doing these things, then I'm afraid he is going to go to jail for a very, very long time. So it is important that we talk. We yeah, need to you, talk. You're always saying that. We need to talk. We need you to do. talk. We never do. But that's your job, isn't it? You're no, the trick. You're I supposed to help help figure out what the hell has to figure out. out himself, and he has to straighten himself out, and he needs our help. But first, you have to accept some what of the responsibility for why he's doing it. What did I do? He looks up to you. You, you set the example. He hears all these stories that what you What stories? The, the car accident, the screaming match with the other driver. Uh, that happened eight years ago. So when you were in the Army, you, you, you shoved a oh, bottle into some guy's face. Story, the fat, hairy guy with the knife. Every clock Look, we you. shut up. But what's your point? You got a point, make it. My point is that he hears all these stories that you tell of all these wild things that you did, and in his mind, they become real. What, do you say my stories aren't real? That's not the point. Those things happen, Dr. Terry. Those stories are real. Like the antlers over your fireplace? What, do you call me a liar now? I'm concerned about your son. Ah, oh, don't give me that crap. You don't care about me. You don't care about my son. It's all the game to you people. Easy, no, you tell him to take it easy. Playing with people. That big cowboy shrink here. Down. No, don't tell me what to do. Oh, 